What up, y'all? It's your boy, Chance. Also known as Shadow Boy from Bloodshot Records. And, you know, this morning I did record a song, put it out. Turned out to be an amazing fucking song. And I mean amazing song. It's called Schizophrenic Girl. It's really cool. So if you guys are into, you know, metalcore, death metal, show like that, y'all definitely love that track. But I know I've gotten on this guy's ass before, and honestly, I'm fucking tired of it. I want to know who this little bitch, LMAO XD, really is. Like, I want to know who this guy is. Because this guy has been running and running and running his mouth and then gave away the fact that he knows about my Facebook. So obviously it's one of y'all on my on my friends list. And quite honestly, I want to know who it is. So LMAO, if you are on my friends list, Just stop. What I want to know is why you feel the fucking need to come after me. Why the fuck do you feel the need to attack me? I did nothing to you. And then you want to attack my career saying that I'm delusional, that I took too long to make it. Dude, most artists don't make it for fucking damn near 20 to 30 years. So what if I took 11 years to get to where I'm at? At least I fucking made it, you stupid-ass motherfucker. I'm tired of your shit. I'm tired of you hiding behind your fucking goddamn keyboard, running your fucking mouth, acting like you're a hard-ass. When in all reality, you're not a hard-ass. You're a fucking wannabe. And if you think I ain't a shooter, try me, dude. Fucking try me. I am fucking tired of you running your goddamn mouth. You've done nothing but cause me hell. You did nothing but fucking bash on me. You run your mouth about only on my shit. You talk shit about me only on my shit. And I'm fucking tired of it. You're a fucking troll. Stop being a pussy ass fucking troll. And there's a difference between me and you, man. There's a major difference. Every time you call me out, I fucking respond. And I put your ass in your fucking place. But every time I come at you and respond back, you ain't got the balls to fucking confront me. You ain't got the balls to fucking go against me. And honestly, I'm fucking tired of your mouth. And you think that somebody cares about what you fucking say about me? Dude, nobody gives two fucks about what you say about me. While you're up on the internet talking shit, I'm over here fucking making hits and saving lives. And you say that, you know, I'm delusional and this and that. That, that you know, that, that's funny, dude. Because if I was delusional, why do I have fans in every motherfucking country, huh? Why do I have fans in Singapore, Russia? You know, let's see, hmm, where else? Oh, yeah, China, Australia, Malaysia. The UK, Scotland, Ireland, Canada, Mexico. I have fans in every fucking part of the globe. Just because I ain't that fucking huge don't mean that I'm not going somewhere. So like I said, you can run your mouth all you want. 
You can do whatever the fuck you want. Run your mouth. I don't give a fuck. But honestly, my actions speak louder than my fucking words. And I'm fucking sick of it. I'm sick of you running your goddamn mouth like a little bitch. So like I said, you want to fucking step to me, make a video, do a diss track, do something, man. Hell, honestly, I'll fucking, I'll applaud you for doing either one. I will fucking congratulate you and applaud you for making a fucking diss track or a video about me. I fucking want you to. I want you to do either one. And yeah, I've helped artists make it doing what I do. Yes, I've proved that you can make it without spending any fucking money. You think you know the music industry, but you know nothing. You've never been in the music industry. You know nothing about it. So honestly, man, you have no right running your mouth about shit that you know nothing about. You think you know the industry, but dude, you know nothing. You don't know what it's like to put in hard work. You don't know what it's like to go no sleep for a full fucking week, busting your ass, perfecting your craft, doing what you got to do to make it. Doing what you have to do to provide for your family. And since I can't work due to physical issues. I'm only doing what I can do to provide for my family. Alright. My music and my artwork is how I provide for my fucking family. Okay. Yeah, I make 300 a month off of, you know, you now and shit like that. I mean, doing what I do. But so fucking what? $300. I give that shit to my family for rent. I want nothing in return for it. You don't know what it's like to help out your family in situations like that. You don't know what it's like to be so fucking broke that you're just barely getting by on bills day to day and week to week and month to month. You don't know what that's like. Okay? Okay. When I first moved here to Ohio, motherfucker, we were living out of the back of my mom's fucking Jimmy because we had no place to sleep. No place. You don't know what it's like to be homeless. I do because I've been there. You don't know what it's like to be the underdog in the fucking music scene. I do because I am the underdog. I am the people that don't expect to make it. But guess what, motherfucker? I made it. Maybe not to your fucking liking, but dude, I ain't here to impress you. Alright? I'm here to make music and help people through my music and what I do. Alright? Ask anybody here. Anybody that fucking knows me and has heard my music and knows what I'm about. It ain't about being rich or famous at all. It's about the people that you help through your music. Okay? As long as I can help that one person through my fucking music. As long as I can save that one life using just my music. Then I'm doing my job as a music artist. What you fail to realize, man, is that yes, I'm special needs. I grew up. As a special needs kid. I am a special needs music artist. I am the voice for the special needs. I am their voice. Ask anybody that knows me. But when motherfuckers like you come along. And try to tear down my career. Bashing on me saying that I'm delusional. That I have no business doing what I'm doing. That's when we have a problem. I have every fucking right and every bit of business being in the music industry because see it's mainstream motherfuckers like you that I can't stand 
because you think you're better than everybody. You act like you're above us when really you're below us. I'm fucking tired of your shit, LMAO. So like I said, you want to run your mouth about me, dog? Make a fucking video. Do a diss track. Do something besides sitting on your fucking ass and talking shit. I want you to fucking do something. I want you to. Because honestly, all you do is talk shit. You know nothing about me. You don't know what it's like to be in my shoes. Okay? I was supposed to die at birth. Okay? I was born one pound, ten ounces. Wasn't supposed to live. At all. Was born with one kidney and one and a half lungs. But yet, here I am, 28 years later. Doing what I do best. And being the voice for the specialty. And yet, what are you doing? Talking shit trying to fucking stop me. But what you don't realize is that I'm above you. I am way better than you will ever be. Ask anyone that knows me. I have busted my ass day in and defying the odds. Doing shit people said I would never do. Making it. What's up, Eric? What's up, Steph? Sorry I didn't see you guys pop in. What's up? But like I said, man, you don't know what it's like to be the underdog. I do. Because I am the underdog. Every day. And that's never going to go away. That's never going to, you know, fade. And that's, you know, that's not my fault. And honestly, I love being the underdog. Why? Because that gives me an advantage. And how does that give me an advantage? I can do shit that most people wouldn't expect me to be able to do. See, unlike you, man, I make hits every fucking day. All right? I've released two albums in three months and released four hits or three hit singles with a fourth one on the web. All right? All between June and now. How many motherfuckers can say they've done that? How many people can say that they've released two albums within a few month time span? I guarantee you ask anybody, it'll be none. All right? I created a whole new genre from nothing. All right? I took what was already there and created a whole new fucking genre of music, which... You might not think I did, but everybody knows the truth. I have. I've created a whole new genre called Phantom Step. It's a sub-genre within the dubstep community. And I have gained respect. Lots of respect from high up people. All right? I've gained the respect of guys like Julian Solano from Nightcore. I've gained respect from Cryptic Wisdom, Lil Scam, Possessed One, who was one of my mentors. Oh, let's see. Who else? Oh, yeah. Evil from the UK. And let's see. Who else? Oh, yeah. Boy Blue, also known as Christian James from Australia, one of my closest friends. My brother Matt, also known as PFV, in Suplex City. One of the biggest hits up on YouTube by him. All right, I've gained the respect of major music artists and major actors and artists in general, like painting artists. All right, I've gained the respect of guys like Jason David Frank, our friend of the family who also is a major actor, Bo Bridges. I've gained the respect of him and his family. I've gained the respect of the entire Frank family. So, 
You want to talk shit about status, dude? Check my stats, man. Look me up on fucking Google, man. Type in my first and last name. You'll find my shit. I was Akron's number one music artist from the time I started in 2010 up till just last year. And I stayed number one the entire time. So, you want to talk about being number one? You're looking at him, dude. But quite honestly, man, you need to stop running your fucking mouth like a little bitch and either step up and do something or shut the fuck up. Because I ain't got time for your ass. I got motherfucking hits to make. I got moves to make. I've got fucking lives to save. Sitting here worried about your fucking bullshit every five seconds of the day. I'm not your caretaker. I'm not your mom. I'm not your dad. And I'm sure as fuck not your fucking boyfriend. Because it seems to me like you want to ride my dick like a fucking gay dude. But sorry to tell you, man, I'm not gay. I have nothing against gays. I respect gays. I have some of my best friends are gay. But I'm not gay. So stop trying to ride my fucking dick like a little bitch and call me out on every fucking thing that I do. All right? Because honestly, I'm tired of it, dude. I'm over here trying to help people through my music and through what I do best. Because like I said, you don't know what it's like to be in my shoes. Every day is a constant fucking battle for me. Every fucking day, not just music-wise or career-wise, but health-wise due to the way that I was born. You don't know what it's like to lay down at night and go to sleep and wondering if you're going to wake up the next day because of your medical conditions. You don't know what that's like. I do. I face that shit daily. So instead of talking shit about me, why not just either get behind me and help me out and show some love and show some support or just shut the fuck up and go somewhere else? Like I said, LMAO, you don't fucking know me. You don't know what my life is like every day because of motherfucking assholes like you talking shit. I get enough shit from the fucking major record labels trying to fucking stop me. I don't need it from little bitches like you. So why don't you take your bullshit comments and go fuck yourself, you stupid piece of shit. I am sick of your mouth. It ends now, LMAOXD. The shit ends now. If you think I'm playing, try me. I'm done with you, LMAO. I'm done with your shit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important shit to take care of. Stuff that you would know nothing about. So, peace, faggot.